Okay, this hand, we once again have our friend, the Informer, and aside, or not the Informer, there's the Informer, he is here again, but the Guild Mage. Aside from that, this hand isn't great, but it's still definitely keepable. Especially considering we are on the draw once more. Okay. Ooh, that's what I like to see in the three drop slot. Phantom Warrior. Really sweet with our, uh, I think we have three Cypher cards in this deck? Yeah. Uh-oh, we got the annoying-ass bat again. That is not what I like to see. Alright, let's run out our guild mage. And, uh, yeah, this guy does beat pretty well if he doesn't play anything that can block him. Leaving the white open, here comes the extort trigger. Devour flesh. Okay, I mean, we're losing our guild mage, but... I think I, uh... Would prefer to lose him than the rogue anyways. It's unfortunate we didn't have Mortis Strider out. That just blanks the fuck out of that card. Alright, we are going to 20. <laughs> uh, ooh, and our Aberration. It's not awful. Let's uh, get our rogue out. And hopefully he can start doing some good bashing. Now next turn... I may just even want to leave up Psychic Strike. I'm not sure. Have to see. Take one, and our opponent is laying down the Basilica Guards. Okay. And, yeah, I kind of just like the idea of leaving up Psychic Strike. Although I guess it doesn't stop the extort that will happen off a spell. I don't want something scary coming down turn before I could potentially land my tiny aberration. Although this will, if I psychic strike something, it will also uh, fuel my aberration very well. I'll be getting three more cards, making this guy a highly respectable 4-4, four, four, which will be enough to get through the guards, and yeah. Alright, play a spell. Yeah. I, I basically don't care what this is. I'm going to psychic strike it. And uh, yeah, that is worth psychic striking. I still don't understand how a, how a strike is a counter spell entirely. He does get the one extort trigger, which is a little unfortunate, but oh, so we got a psychic strike of his, a swamp, and of course the manipulator that we canceled. Now, hopefully, we just hit a land here. Hmm. I'm not pleased. Uh. All right. Let's just go with the informer. The Informer and this guy are actually kind of a combo for a, for a long game, huh? Yeah, alright, that's not awful. Uh, yeah, let's get the Informer out here. And, uh, yeah. We would have been in business if we had drawn a land there, and now we are still definitely behind against the uh, extort shenanigans, but I don't feel awful. Oh, and our opponent just passed, huh? Okay, so... Let's start by bashing. And no removal spells. So, uh, I guess I'm going to play my Mortis Strider down. And start, uh, milling him with Mortis Strider plus Hunter's Hitting Farmer. Which, I don't know if we're going to mill him out this game, but the bigger the better, really. The consuming aberration. It's going to get chumped for one turn for sure. But other than that, nothing. Four cards in hand. So you just got like double white or something? I don't know. Alright. You. Yeah, this is a nice little combo. And mill yourself, sucker. Uh, purge the pur Okay. And a swamp. Alright. So our opponent has six cards in the graveyard. And still no, uh... Hmm. All right. Well, I am actually just gonna play this guy here over the Mortis Strider for the mill again. Still no fifth land. Little disappointing. Yeah. Let's get our Slate Street Ruffian out there because uh yeah, I I I don't mind whittling down his hand by going at his Basilica guards. You know his hand's probably just double fucking Treasury Thrall and we're dead. But you know. <laughs> And four, so he's going to get one extort. 
and it's just another wall. Well, when he evolves that wall, we can't just spam our Slate Street Ruffian at it, but that is not awful at the moment. Okay, we're going to take another one. Like That's a power of extort. It seems like we'd be out racing him, right? But like he is actually heading the race right now. Oh, still nothing, huh? Well, we're going to get our Flux Mage out there. Um, let's attack with these two. Good thing we have so many three drops, huh? Probably just going to let us in for four, unless he might just have chaff he wants to discard. Or he's going to double block and discard one. That is fair. Okay. This guy's not really great. He's just a gray ogre, so... And smite. Okay. And let's get a flux mage down. Uh, because when we evolve it, we can start throwing counters over to unblockable dudes, which I like the idea of. Unfortunately, Mortistrata does not evolve him for more uh, shenanigans, but... Uh, Demir Kiro, and with the double extort, this consuming aberration cannot come soon enough, my god. Okay. Uh... We go to 11, he can start hitting us for 3 per turn. Yeah, come on, finally. Alright, let's start by going in with our rogue. And this guy. Alright, he's a 7-7 seven, seven at the moment. And whenever we cast a spell, he gets bigger, which does combo with this guy. Wow, we can, like, if we weren't on such a clock ourselves, and he was just sitting behind walls that, let's pretend, could actually stop this guy, we could just mill the shit out of him by um, comboing these two, and, like, these three together, because you play this, you grind them once, comes back, you play it again, grind them, sack it, grind them, yeah. That's really sweet, actually. Unfortunately, it's basically going to come down to... Whether or not we can bash through his walls um, before these things destroy us. So, although I do get flyers next turn, should stop a little of the punishment. Is this gonna be treasury thrill? Oh, another double extort and angelic edict on our guy. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna happen at some point, right? Although he doesn't get in with the demir key ruin at least. Ugh. Okay. We are taking another one. All right. Um, so I think I play my Sapphire Drake and Bash. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, I should have. Oh, that's so dumb. I should have played this first because I could have gone with my Flux Mage. Who would have been a 3 4. Which would have put him to 10, which would have put him on a two turn clock. Yeah, that, okay. That was really bad, guys. Um, don't do that in the future. Yeah. Alright. Just, uh, you know, just remember to play your guys pre combat. This guy's art is really weird. It's just very anime -y compared to uh, the other stuff. I don't know. We're probably dead to just the absurdity of all this extort. Is this a treasury thrill? What else c could it be? Excuse me. Um, he's going to evolve his anemones. It's alright. I do not think we are winning this game on the ground anyways. Uh, so we got our land. Okay, so... I could play this, which lets me evolve. And, but I think I'm going to have to be doing some chumping next turn. So we probably want to just get the Strider out there. I can do Strider, Corpse Blockade, and still sack the Strider. Although, more likely I'll be sacking 
Strider for a Death Touchy. This can't bring back removal spells, thank God. So, alright, let's just play our stuff pre-combat this time. Not that it actually changes anything this time, but I don't know. I prefer to be safer than sorry last time. But he gained a... Uh, because he could have been at 11 right now, which would have been a large improvement over where he actually is. Uh, yeah. He didn't go with his bat, so I guess he plans on chumping, which is nice, because we get an extort trigger out of the way. Okay. So... He probably won't even attack with this guy, because we can just sack this guy for death touch. Uh, ugh. Suddenly our guy having flying is not as good. How big is this guy? 3-3? Three, three. Okay. Yep. And, uh, that extort is just eating us alive. If he just, like, plays a spell and bashes with the key ruin next turn, we lose. Is he considering attacking? He would get back... He doesn't actually have very many permits. He would get back the Manipulator. Or just this for another Extortion, which would help in the long game. It's not like I'm attacking on the ground anyways. So I just trade these two for this, although... This guy would come back, obviously. Let's see what he does. He is indecisive. Alright, he's just passing. Let's uh, choose him. Pay one. Pick you. <laughs> and one again. Okay. Um, let's get our Drake out here. And then... Bash like this. Yep. He still mostly got defenders, although we're just dead to unblockable and extort. If he's got alright, he's just gonna trade. That's cool. Alright, that means our manipulator is no longer flying, but that's something we're just gonna have to accept, and we can always just throw the counters on this guy anyways. We've got him at six. If he animates this, we know we're dead, basically. He's got two cards in hand. Two extort triggers on the field. All right, it looks like we get to live one more turn. <laughs> oh my god! He can just chain these things forever, too. Ugh. What actually allows me to win next turn? I guess like Shadow Slice. Yeah, Shadow Slice 2. Put something there, so 3, 5, hit, another 3. Alright, Shadow, sh Shadow Slice. Oh, but he's not attacking. Hmm. Okay. Swamp. Eh, that was not what I was hoping for. I'm at three. I'm just dead to any spell plus Demir key rune. Ugh. So. I think we just attack with our flyers slash unblockable dude. Because I do want this guy to block. Okay. Like, I could have put the counter on him now, but that doesn't actually change the clock. So, spell. Uh, it's not, I guess, any spell. It's got to cost fairly cheap. Let's see. It can't cost six, basically. Yeah, it can't cost six, otherwise it wins. But, given that our opponent hasn't slammed it, I'm hoping it's a land. Or maybe he just doesn't notice. Let's see. Oh. No, it can't be. So, yeah, we just lose to any spell. It's not a six drop. Oh, he's tapping all his blue. 
Purge the profane. Oh, he's got three. Yeah, we just lose to that. Yep. Uh, extort is disgusting, friends. All right. Thank you for watching. Oh, wait. Hold on. I know what we're going to do. <laughs> Hope to get mad lucky. <laughs> I probably could have uh, could have maybe done this an additional time if I had started on my turn by replaying the Mortis Strider plus my additional land. Oh my god. We're just hitting all the lands. Well, whatever. It's basically... Wait, how many lands does he have out? Three plus... Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to bother counting. Either we get lucky or we won't. Although, yeah, I should have probably done it involving replaying the Mortis Strider for uh, optimal being not an idiot. But I didn't even think of this plan until right now. Oh, this is another five? Hot damn. We might actually get there if we get lucky. I just hit a whole bunch of lands with that, so I should have done this on my turn. <laughs> Should have done. <laughs> yeah, he's still got to draw the card. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm an idiot uh, who didn't see the play. Thanks for watching round one. <laughs> All right, guys.